Hey everybody, this is Chris from Killer Arcade Games. I'm back again to talk a little bit about the Arcade 1-Up Killer Instinct cabinet that's coming. First of all, this is not an Arcade 1-Up Killer Instinct cabinet. It is an Arcade 1-Up. I turned it into a Killer Instinct cabinet. This is running a PC. It's running MAME. It's running the best version of MAME that I think works the most arcade accurate is uh, MAME 139 32-bit. It sounds archaic and old, but the newer versions of MAME actually skip on the Versus screen and it drives me insane. And that's why I'm here to make this video today. I want to make sure that Arcade 1UP and Code Mystics can get this thing as close to arcade perfect as possible. Now first things first, I've mentioned this in the other video, there's no way we're going to get the original attract mode like you're seeing right here. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Nintendo owns all these things and they're Microsoft and Nintendo, they're not going to want this stuff on the same cabinet. So we're probably going to get the version we saw on the Xbox One. I'm actually going to show you the two versions right now with sound. I captured one of these from my Arcade 1UP running MAME, and here we go. This is what the original Arcade Attract mode was like. Alright, now let's take a look at the Xbox One version. There's obvious differences. The Nintendo logo is removed, the opening scene is removed, the... Available for your home in 1995, only on Nintendo Ultra 64. ...has been removed from this game. Let's take a look. Killer Instinct. So the attract mode's a little more boring, but again, you can't knock Arcade 1UP or Code Mystics for it. It's just a matter of who owns it now, and Microsoft's not going to want Nintendo's logo on their stuff, and Nintendo's probably not going to be happy if Microsoft puts Nintendo stuff on their logo. Wow, that was confusing. Basically, Nintendo and Microsoft aren't going to want to work together on that. And just for good measure, I'll show you the differences between the KI2 original attract mode, which is from my MAME cabinet, and then the Xbox One attract mode. So you'll notice that didn't change all that much. The only thing we really lose is that Nintendo at the opening there. So that's kind of nice. You're going to lose out on a few other still screens, but overall you're not going to really lose much from that attract mode. Okay, so let's get on to the problems with the current Xbox One Killer Instinct 1 and 2 emulation. Those guys are extremely talented at Code Mystics. I hope that they can get this worked out. It could be an issue simply of hardware. Now the Xbox One has much better hardware than what's going to be in the Arcade 1UP version. There's no way they're going to spend that level of money from an Xbox One hardware to that. So it's just not possible. So some of this stuff may not be fixable, but I really want to bring it to their attention just to make sure it's not overlooked. So let's start with KI1. The one thing I really want to note is the fact that after a match ends, if you don't get a supreme victory or an awesome victory cutscene, it will just show winner at the top of the screen and that low strings tone is supposed to kick in, that ominous low tone is supposed to fade in nice and smooth, but on the Xbox One version, it actually takes a second and it sounds like it skips and then just all of a sudden it's full on. There's no fade in. DJ Fight on. 
Ready. Now it's not that big of a deal that it skips and it pops up late. I mean, it would bother a fan like myself, but that sound will actually linger way too long. It stays over that screen when it should have been cut off. It goes into the next fight until the game needs more voices. The best way I can describe this voices issue is think about when you had an NES. It could only produce so many sounds at one point with the hardware it had. Now, Killer Instinct, I can't find any exact numbers on this, but I assume it was only capable of producing one music track and three voices at once, meaning a combination of character voices and the announcer all at once. So you can have the music playing, three voices. So once it finally needs that third voice, it finally cuts that low tone off. And I don't know why this happens. It must be some kind of emulation error. I can't say that I'm a, an expert on actually making emulation. I can't even say I'm an expert on emulation in general. I just know Killer Instinct emulation very well because I've spent 15 years observing it and trying to make it perfect because I couldn't have the real thing in the house. The other issue I have with the Killer Instinct 1 emulation is the versus screen. It shows the two split screens. You've got one character here, one over here. The versus hits and it's supposed to stop and say fight on before the match. Fight on. Fight ready. For some reason, the Code Mystics version on the Xbox One actually skips that sometimes, and sometimes you'll hear the fight on when you're already in the match. Fight ready. Fight ready. So it seems to me that the emulation's either running too fast or something's getting out of sync, so I'm hoping that can be fixed before it launches on the Arcade 1UP version. Moving on to KI2. KI2 has similar issues, but not quite exactly the same. One of the biggest problems is you pick your character with KI2. Kind of the same thing with KI1. The versus pops up, there's no more split screen with cutscenes running. It was just two characters, versus screen. It lingers for a second, it, it kind of sometimes says fight on, sometimes it doesn't, and then you're into the fight. That would be great if they could fix that, slow that emulation down right there maybe, or let it finish saying fight on and then move into the fight. The second issue I have with KI2 kind of rolls right into it because as it moves into the fight, almost all KI2 stages start with some kind of panning shot showing off their really awesome levels they made. You'll notice when I show you the clips here that this thing actually pans way too quickly when you compare it to the emulation from MAME. Let's take a look at that right now. So you probably saw it went way too fast on the panning shots compared to the main version. Really so I'm in here editing the video now and way too fast may have been an overstatement. It runs a little too fast and it kind of bothers me, but I just thought I'd throw this in there so I don't sound like an over the top nut about this game. It's really not that big a deal. Once again, none of this really affects the gameplay. It just will nag at a super fan. So I wanted to really point that out. Let's take a look at the uh, end screen where that low tone plays on KI2. So once again, the low tone actually kind of starts delayed. Now it doesn't linger though. It doesn't actually fall into the next scene, which is great. It's almost kind of weird that the issues are almost the same coming from game to game. It kind of concerns me a little bit because it makes me think that maybe they tried to fix this stuff and they just couldn't. It may just be something they couldn't fix either with the current hardware, their current focal emulator. Maybe it's not tuned enough, but a lot of time has passed. Maybe they've learned something new and hopefully they can fix these problems. I would assume that the issues kind of persist between the two games because the two games were kind of on the same arcade board. They actually had the exact same processors, the same sound systems, so it was pretty much the same powered board. But in the case of KI2, it just had a lot more data on the hard drive. And I say a lot more, but in that time it was a lot more. Nowadays it's, it's really not that much more data. It was probably 100 megabytes more. So please let me know in the comments, am I being way too nitpicky over this or are these valid concerns for the release of this cabinet? 
Let me know what you guys think, and if there's something that you think I'm missing, please let me know. I, I think the gameplay is pretty accurate, so that's the important part, but if we can get all these little side things fixed and make it run more like the arcade, that would be awesome. If you guys would like to join a Killer Instinct Arcade 1UP fan group, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. I'm actually one of the admins, along with Luis Chambers, who is also a mod over at the official Arcade 1UP fan group. So please join the group if you want to talk KI. I would love to have you there. We've already had quite a few people join, and we want to just get this community growing bigger. And hopefully, the bigger it grows, the more likely they are to hear our issues with the game, and maybe we can get it fixed before this thing ships. Arcade 1UP, I don't want you to have to make another cabinet in a year. I want this to be right, so if you guys would like any advice, my help, I'll offer my time, my help, whatever. I would love to make sure that this thing is good. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. I can tell you right now we're going to have an exciting year with this cabinet coming out, and I plan to make a whole lot more videos about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.